Hey guys, so I just realized I was sweating like crazy. I just got back from like a soccer game and it is like four o'clock and we're playing at like noon and uh, I felt like today, right now would be the best time to make a video. Uh, so let's do the top five rotating Born of the Gods. Born of the Gods was not as good as Pharaohs and it doesn't have like a clear dot seas runaway winner, but it has some good cards. Like it definitely has some good cards. Phoenix, uh, Phoenix, God of, Milling, let's call him, uh, is pretty good. I like it. It is uh, affordable right now. And if history is correct, mill cards have more casual value than other types of cards. Mill is a very popular casual or EDH. So I'm no, I don't mean like, when I mean casual, I don't mean like, oh, casual modern. I mean casual kitchen table. Uh, it has a tremendous appeal for a alternative win condition. People love playing Exodia and Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's why, because it is a alternative win condition. Mill, same deal. Number four, Mogus. Uh, Mogus, I like a lot. I've always liked Mogus as a card. I think it is very unique. Um, it hits very hard when you can activate it. And it presents a clock. Um, and when you look at red, black, aggro type of decks. Four is the top of the curve, but you know, it, it's a good EDH card. I don't think it's gonna see play in modern. Uh, most of these cards that we're gonna go over this week, they will not see play in modern, uh, just because their power level is a little too weak, but that doesn't mean that there's not an opportunity. Uh, same with Mogus, his power level is a tad too weak for modern, but there might be opportunity for him in EDH or other groups or other um, formats like casual kitchen table. Next, Kiara. Kiara was reprinted. She is at a very low price right now. I'm not talking about the new Kiara. I'm talking about Kiara, the crashing waves. Uh, overall, very fun card, very unique. Well, I guess it's not unique anymore since new Kiara is kind of the same, but I love the card. I love everything about the card. I love the fact that it does what Simic is always trying to do, so it fits in the Simic uh, guidelines, if you will, for EDH. Uh, overall, Planeswalkers are not bad speculations if they're under like $3 or $4, um, unless their name is Tibble, because Planeswalkers always have casual appeal. People always are willing to trade for Planeswalkers, even if they don't need it. And that's because Planeswalkers are Planeswalkers. Number two, Brimaz. King Kitty, as I call him, is disappointing. He disappointed the whole time. He saw very limited play. I mean, he saw a little bit of play in Mardu uh, when they didn't go Mardu Dragons. Uh, when Karns of Tarkir first released, he spiked up in price a tiny bit. But uh, Brimaz is an overall disappointing card. I look at him and I see power level. His power level is there, but Mono White was not a... I mean, Sam, yeah, Sam Black played Mono White, but it wasn't with... Uh, Brimaz, it was with uh, Angel of Teefs, right? That's the card that you want to play in that type of deck. Brimaz, altogether a rather, like, I don't know what happened to him. The meta just never fit. He is played in modern somewhat as a one of or two of in some random decks. I think he's good. I like him, and that's why I have him as number two. I just don't know if the meta will ever ever get around to embracing him like a voice of resurgence. Like you look at a voice of resurgence and to me it is a cheaper version of Brimaz. It does pretty much the same things. It's hard to remove. It generates creature tokens. Uh, it's a very good card, but Brimaz, uh, I don't know if he's gonna find a home because voice might just be in many cases a better version of it. Number one, Corsair of Krufix. And I hate the Corsair of Krufix. I hate the life gain. I hate the land. But out of all the cards in this, like maybe you can say Brimaz, but like what card here, uh, if, I, if I had to, and again, leave a comment, make sure you can leave a comment and I'll try to answer your questions about these cards. But what card is modern playable and the entire Born of the Gods? Like Brimaz, maybe? Like what else is there? Like as a rare slash mythic, I know Searing Blood and all those cards are uh, very, very interesting. I know, and I'll be the first one to say, uh, Born of the Gods is not the greatest um, set ever. Like, if there is a Voice of Resurgence, it will probably be Brimaz. But that being said, Corsair Crufix is a very good card. 
Um, and he has a good body to him. He's got the land ability. He's got the life game ability. I can see him being valuable in modern down the road with the correct meta. So that's my top five. What are your top five? Uh, do you disagree, agree? Uh, leave a comment below and I'll talk, see you guys for, uh, I guess we're doing Journey into Nyx next, which I have a, a certain Revel creature that I love a lot. Bye guys.